Avancid Program 13 provides all necessary tools to create, save and reuse from C-Bubble to complex custom connections. Custom connections can be defined with automatic connections. As an example here, we need to define a connection between a column and a beam. So just by using the single side end plate automatic connection, we can place automatically end plate, bolts and stiffness. In addition, we can add any chamfers on the plate just by specifying the dimension of each chamfer. We can also go to the connection vault and use some stiffener to create them on the column and chamfer to the top flange of the beam. Just define in the dialog which thickness you would like to get for this plate. We can do the same on the bottom to chamfer to the bottom flange of the beam. At any time you can navigate in 3D to see uh, your logic. With Advanced Steel 2013, we have also some bricks which are available in the tool palette and you can use them to define your custom connection. As an example here, with the brick plate along the web, it's very easy to define the location of the plate, the size, the thickness, and you can even specify an offset to move them to the top or to the bottom. Now it's time to save this custom connection. So different choice are proposed. You can choose one beam, one point, between two beams, between two beams. And now once you have selected the elements, you just have to give the prompt, which will appear in the dialog when you will have to insert this custom connection a little bit later. Just give a name, make a selection, select the cubeville and now your, your custom connection is saved. Let's go to another example, another model and let's insert this connection template. For the connection template explorer, we can preview all our customer connection. We have them just to pick the column, the beam and the custom connection is now directly inserted between the column and the beam. As it has a cubery, a blue cubery, it's very easy to use some automatic tools like create joint in joint group and replace it between the two other columns and the two beams. What is very powerful is the behavior of the modification. Let's take an example here with a column, change the section, and as you can see, automatically the connection has been updated accordingly. Another example with a beam we can make it a little bit slope, just select the grid point which is there, move it to the top and automatically the custom connection follow the new situation. If you want to modify an object which is part of a custom connection, just select this option, allow modification, make a right click on any of the component of this custom connection and change, for example, the size of the plate and as it is a brick, an automatic connection, all the other connections follow automatically the new size of the stiffness.